option for White. Fedosev is on seconds. 20 seconds left, and we all know how dangerous, I mean, how, uh, what a classy player in the endgame Magnus Carlsen is. Knight went to c2, so he's trying to set it like this. King to d4, knight to e3, right. taking a lot of control. It wasn't but bishop b3 and bishop knight b3, d4. Knight d4. Now a possibility of bishop c... Yeah, that's a possible move. Bishop to c4, opti to play bishop f1. So, for instance, if white tries to do the same, it's bishop f1 mm. first. Then after king f2, it's bishop d3. So winning, winning a tempo this way. And then playing king d6 already. Yeah, I'm still not sure. Well, Magnus goes back to d5. Bishop goes back to d5, and the knight goes back to, to c2, c2 quickly. King, king e6. Six. So now king d4 is allowed. And what happens what is in this his case? idea? Not sure. Not sure. 17 seconds on the board. 15 seconds left. Uh, bishop c... Well, knight e1. How is that? Is that the position? Yeah, king is still on e3, knight e1. Seriously? What was... What's the... Problem, what's the point then? of it? <laughs> king d4. Now, of course, bishop c4 is a serious move. So that after uh, maybe he wants to play something like f4 to uh, trade some more. But, but then you expose the g2 pawn. Then you expose the g2 pawn. There will be g3 pawn. next move. No, I think I think actually what he really wants is to try to get the knight somewhere to to like c5 maybe. But once again, it's really it looks re really strange. Wait a sec. F4 is not a move at all. If I I mean, pass somehow, f4, I might want to do this. You know, obviously you know this trick, right? Knight takes g2 and then h3 and the pawn cannot be stopped. Mm -hmm. He just made this move. What? f4? He mm -hmm. played. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not sure if it's a good move. Ah, bishop went to c4, so no more this idea of a sacrifice. And king f5. f4, king f5. He f takes, takes g5. f takes g. f takes g. No, but I'm telling you, uh, I find that this one is very, very dangerous. This pawn on g2. Mm. How do you make? I mean, yeah, if, if you can make g3. Uh, maybe g4 here, strangely. g4. So if black takes, I'm in time to go there and then to take. I still don't like it. Check. No, then king e4. comes. Or, or king e4 and it comes to king c. No, he, he played knight f3. He follows my, my advices. So, 4, king f5, takes, takes. Knight f3. Knight f3. Playing on seconds. Uh, bishop d5, knight d1, bishop b7, knight f3. Wait. Is that As a king, wait, 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 no. No, no it, it's not like this. And once again, it's our king. digital board falls behind. So it was this. He managed to play takes, g3. Takes here, bishop here. Bishop b7. Bishop b7. g3. g3. 40 seconds on the clock for white. 40 seconds for Fedor Safe, but he seems to... I mean, now it looks like he'll exchange all the pawns. Yeah. So it will be nothing left for Magnus to play with. And just in case, if it's ever a pawn endgame, he has this, this spare, spare, spare move with b3. Okay, black takes on g3. Now perhaps the last chance will be to try to run with the king. Uh, it is bishop uh, c8. Bishop c8, knight to d2, covering some squares. So what, king? Then knight, <coughs> a knight can come back on f3. King e5. And then a desperate try to run here. But then this pawn is dangerous, right? So it's h4 if you take some king f4. King f5 it's not block. that easy, yeah. not that easy for the bishop to. I mean, it has to be enough for a draw for white. I don't really see black losing this one. Uh, black goes back to bishop b7. Bishop b7 again. So he will come back to this idea probably, just not. Uh, not with bishop on c5 or it doesn't 
make any sense. No, I mean, it, it does make sense, but uh, again, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, he goes, he goes back, back to F3. F3. Goes back to F3. Yeah, this will be a very important result for Fedosev if he holds uh, yeah. himself against uh, Magnus Carlsen. Uh, we have bishop d5. So this, knight to f3, bishop d5. So as I said, Magnus will try to run with the king to the other side of the board. Just he, I mean, wants to, first he wants to improve the position to a maximum. Mm. Would be really nice to, to see what goes on on the board. Back to d2. Back to d2. Yeah, this g5 pawn, the only pawn which is left on the king side for black, is really, really weak, right? So and king cannot simply leave this pawn. King e5, just it's, like that. it's always a check. Yeah, I mean, probably it is. It is the position where where it's still black who is who is kind of trying. But uh, it was bishop f uh, seven and knight f three. Bishop f seven, knight back to f three. Maybe he wants to block this pawn from h5. But what's then? What's then? Because now king, king e5, e5 king it's still d4. a check. King d5. Ah, you mean to do it the this way? The pawn is blocked so far. To do it this way. Ah, there is also... I'm um, not in time with the king, by the way. Yeah, that's interesting. That's actually an unpleasant idea. Actually, an unpleasant idea. So, so we we might see this one later on. Might see this one. So for, for the time being, he goes bishop e8. So he tries to have this position under the most favorable circumstances. Uh, for the save, for the look, he doesn't look at the board. So he's he's <laughs> he's perhaps checking the other yeah, results. Yeah, here we have so, this um, yeah, bishop, this position. Knight goes, bishop to g6, knight goes, bishop to h5. Well, he managed to accumulate some time, Vladimir Fedosev. He's on one minute already. And he looks checks. pretty confident. A check. Time to go king e4, maybe, or king e5. King e5, and then this knight goes there. Mm -hmm. Knight to... No, 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 he's just coming back to b3, because I thought this was also fine, or no. Ah, no, this is how you lose, because king d5, knight c5, a5. a5. That's the problem. Yeah, we have this position, knight f3, king d5. King to d5. Okay. So that, knight d2, here, check, king goes to d5, knight g5, king to c4, king, knight, knight e4. e4 quickly, king, king takes b4. b4. This is still you tense. You know what, knight d2 can block this king. Come. This is still tense. Knight d2, okay, I, I move the pawn maybe and then come king c5 and, and play b4. That so long time, king can also come to f4, g5 and raise the pawn. Okay, he didn't play knight d2. He went for king f4. Yeah, because in case of king b3 there is knight c5. Yet he this, doesn't need this. Yeah, he, he will... He doesn't need yeah, After this. a5, yeah, exactly. After king f4, if black plays a5... Then, then maybe probably. knight d2, then probably knight d2, and yeah, and nothing can be done it seems. I'm not sure if Magnus had any chances, but a5. It seems he no longer has him. Knight d2, and I can't imagine how do you play this one for a win. Knight d2, right. Yeah. A4, so still trying, king to e4. Yeah, he simply goes to the pawns. King to c5. And not, it's not that simple, because after king e4, a4, what, what has happened? King went to e3, b4, check on d4. Don't quite understand what's that. King to d5? <laughs> what he's doing? Wait a sec. <laughs> he Wait went a sec. To oh my god. King d5, yes. So that he, means he after this check, he's uh, running with the king and goes a3. Yeah, I mean, you cannot take the bishop because a3, you do not stop this pawn. 
Well, this is this is getting critical for Fedosev because now the a3 pawn will be very dangerous. The next move being bishop g6. If yeah, wait, it's once again we fall behind on this this board. It's king e3. This a check and king went to d5. How much time Fedosev has? That's still enough. It's it's roughly a minute, Second. right? Ah, uh, 30, 40, 47 seven. seconds, and he the move he played was knight Nine back two. to d2, and as I said, yeah, next, uh, next black's move is bishop g6. It's problematic, the king cannot come here. I mean, with king on c1, yeah, but there, okay, H4, there would be no H4, discussion. How the black... This. Or just outright a3, I mean, well, actually a3 wins, takes, takes. With king here, you don't no, need the knight. Knight, knight, uh, knight. knight b3, king c4. Knight a1. Knight a1. And king c3. And I just, uh, you know, take it. I just ah, take it. And on time to come back on a2, b3. Yeah, but it's not important. It, it, it's with the knight, it, it, it's a drawish mm. position. I mean, even having pawn on a2, it's still winning. Yeah, because, because you go king c1, can but you, you, yeah, you get into Tsutswang. Not pleasant position for Fedosev at all. Kings e2, he ends up playing. And a3 played by Magnus Carson. B takes, b takes, has to be played. B takes, b takes. And he's not in time. And I, well, you know, I know this position. It, it, it's winning. It's winning in a very nice way. After knight b3, you go king c4, you go king c3. Ah, well, and maybe this pawn makes difference. It, it will be very interesting. Because without this pawn, I know how to win this one. It's also not trivial, because when you wait... I oh know it is trivial. Because you just wait. You just wait. And sooner or later, he has to give the pawn. Yeah. Then he has knight c2. We, we will have this one. It will be a very, very... I mean, it's a very instructive endgame. King c3, and then he, he can just wait with the bishop. And he also knows this. He oh also my knows God. this endgame. Yes, bishop, f bishop h5 he takes. Now he will show us how to win this one. Bishop <laughs> 2. Yeah, you need a bishop on a4. Bishop a4. No, not, not on a4. King b3. Yeah, bishop a4, king b3, king a3. Magnus Carlsen wins this game, and he becomes a new leader with three rounds to go. Look, <laughs> look. He oh tries to remember something, God. but not this game already, because this one is done. That's a, that's a maneuver. It's actually, interestingly enough, it's not such an easy position to win, because somewhere here, you can make a terrible mistake by going king b3 too early, because this is a Zugzwang, but after king b3, it's knight d4, and it's a perpetual check, it, ah, a check yeah. it turns out. So it's very important to, cover, to control the b5 square. He didn't even spend any seconds, he knew yeah, he it. Didn't, he didn't, lose, no. didn't, didn't spend any time, so he, I'm sure he knew the exact oh method how to win this position. This, this match totally changed the situation of the So, what will be the situation? So, it will be... Too many people sharing in first place. Vichy Anand, Pierre Swiller, uh, Vladimir Fedosev, and Wang Hao and Magnus Carlsen. Are you sure? No, I am. No, I, th I thought Carlsen oh, will wait. be. No, he, no. He That's, will you be made a mistake. Knight. He will be the sole leader. Oh my god. It will be a lot of people, as you said, sharing the place, but not second. the first one. The second place, yes. Oh. And uh, the leader will be Magnus Carlsen. I mean, it, Look it, at his face. It's <laughs> like. That's, he had some fighter war. Yeah, and no if the CF simply loses on time. So a first loss for Vladimir Fedosev in this, uh, well, looked boring from the beginning, but it was a thrilling endgame. Yeah. It was a really, really thrilling endgame where Magnus Carlsen shown, shown the algorithm. Of, and Fedosev still cannot believe it. He oh, has yeah. lost oh my what seemed to be an absolutely drawish endgame. Carlson in his style, sorry, uh, what a round! <laughs> what can I say? What a round!